Hello guys, welcome to welcome back to another unboxing video today. And guess what I got inside the bag? I <coughs> iPhone 14 Pro Max, 512 gig then. iPhone 14 Pro Max, uh, 512 gig. Um, purple. All right. And we also got a few other phones. We're gonna compare the sizes and all the tech specs and all that. So. Pro Max. Uh, this is a 12 Pro Max, 13 Mini, uh, iPhone 11, uh, and uh, iPhone 8, <laughs> iPhone 8, uh, 11, 13 Mini, 12 Pro Max, and 14, 14 uh, Pro Max, fam. All right, let's open up this bad boy, huh? And uh, in the video description, I will drop the link on where to buy it or. You can, uh, you know, go to your local uh, wireless pro provider, you know, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, whatever. I bought this uh, unlocked with the, uh, through the Apple website. So we, I will drop the link where to buy the iPhone. So if you guys can use it, that'd be awesome. If not, that's fine. All right, let's get straight to it, fam. iPhone 14 Pro Max, deep purple. And uh, I believe this one use an eSIM, so you don't actually put in the SIM card, I believe. Mm. Mm. Yes, uh, well, let's take a good look at it, huh? Mm. Purple, fam. Mm. All right. There's not much inside the box. <laughs> Apple is like... Top three biggest company. At one point, they were the biggest company, right? Two trillion or so. Mm. All right. Oh. Boom. And I always use a screen protector and phone case. Yeah. If you don't, uh, if you drop it, it's gonna smash the screen, man. Um, see, all my iPhones. Uh, never had a cracked screen before. <laughs> mm. Take a closer look, huh? Um, so the cameras are bigger uh, than the 12 Pro Max, I believe. And that's the only difference. Uh, the size is about the same. The screen size is uh, 6.7. 6.7 um, inch. Um, All right, see what else inside the box, huh? You got the lightning. Is this lightning or C-type? Let me check. I think it's, okay. So on one side is uh, lightning and one side is C-type. Apple make tons of money by uh, selling their uh, charging accessory um, pan, pa pans or whatever, you know. They could make everything C-type, but they don't want to. <laughs> so uh, we got the phone and we got the charging cable. I guess you call this a uh, C-type to lightning. I don't know. Uh, yeah, you don't even get the uh, the brick, charging brick in this. I only got two things, the phone, charging cable. That's it, fam. Everything else you gotta buy on your own. Um, all right. Uh, Let's put put them side side, uh, side by side, huh? Well, I I use my iPhone 13 mini for mainly doing gig work. You know, it's uh it's small and it's easier to uh, put in your pocket. So let's compare the 12 to the 12 to the 14, huh? It's about the same size. Yeah, exactly the same. That's the 12 Pro Max, Pro Max. That's the 14 Pro Max, so. Is it a little bit wider? Mm. No, it's the same. Same size, fam. All right, let's flip it around, huh? Yeah, the, the cameras are bigger, see? Let me bring this closer. Yeah, the, the three uh, front cameras are a lot bigger uh, compared to the 12. Um, 
let's compare the 13 here is the same the 13 has really big cameras uh, see that's the 13 mini but same 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 size uh, front camera uh, that's the 12 on uh, sorry that's the iPhone 11 iPhone 11 uh, and the good old iPhone 8 cam. Any of you guys missed the home button? I actually really like the home button, you know. Mm. It's a lot uh, quicker to access uh, to uh, unlock the screen. So you got the 8, the, uh, 11, 13 mini, 14 Pro Max, and uh, got the 12. Here's the 12 Pro Max fan. iPhone 8, iPhone 11, 13 mini, 12 Pro Max, 14 Pro Max. All right, let's power it up, huh? Well, let me just read the tech specs for the 14, huh? Mm. So the 14 basically got the, just going off the top of my head first. Uh, they got the SOS feature. So if you were stranded in a forest or an island, uh, you can do the, SOS, they will call 911 with the satellite phone. SOS feature, they got the car crash uh, detection. So uh, if you are uh, involved in a car accident and they will detect it and call 911 automatically for you. Um, oh man, what else? Uh, cinematic mode, I think it's been with the 13. Uh, cinematic uh, mode for video recording. But uh, besides that, I think everything is the same still, you know. Just a little bit faster from the 12 to the 14. Uh, I mean, uh, if I already had, if I already had the 12, I would wait another year. Mm. Uh, my wife uh, upgrade from the 11, 11 to the 14. This is for my wife actually. So honestly, if you have the 12 Pro Max, just wait, fam. Mm. Unless you uh, really like the cinematic mode, uh, video recording. Uh, so besides that, I don't know what else. Uh, Got the SOS. Oh, got the island, uh, dynamic island or something. I don't know what the, what's that all about, but you know. Basically, uh, I, Apple and iPhone just slow down your phone every year to make to force you buy a new phone. You know, we all know that. Um, so that's all I can think of off the top of my head. The 4K uh, 60 FPS been with the iPhone 8, I think. iPhone 8 already got the 4K. Uh, so the cinematic uh, thing start with uh, iPhone 13 or 14. Yeah, I'm not much of a tech guy. Just going off the top of my head. So, so the price is about the same. I bought the 12 Pro Max for like uh, 1450 plus tax, and this is also 1450 uh, plus tax uh, sales tax. Um, 500 gig. So this is available in uh, 512 gig, um, 256, and uh, 128 and also uh, 1000 gig or something. I think the 512 is good if you do a lot of video recording. If you don't do uh, um, too much videos, maybe 200 gig would do the job, you know, if you have iCloud. Yeah, I do have iCloud. I do a lot of video recording, so, but this is for wifey. All right, let's uh, power up and see what it looks like, huh? All right, powering up for the first time. And this thing uses the eSIM, so you don't actually have a physical SIM. That's what the Apple people told me. Mm. I'm shooting with my GoPro. Mm. And they claim they have better camera stabilization. I doubt it. I think GoPro is top notch for stabilization, fam. Mm. English. Uh, United States. All right, and uh, come back in a few minutes, fam. So the cool thing about uh, Apple products is you can uh, bring the two phones together and uh, kind of sync it, or you can do it manually. You know, so I think the the quickest way is to bring the two phones right next to each other, yeah, which is what I'm doing. Pretty cool feature, fam. Then you would uh, scan the. Scan that thingy with your old phone. You scan that thingy and it will uh, sync it to iCloud. Pretty cool, right? All right, fam, so we're doing the eSIM for the 14 Pro Max. So you just gotta confirm on your old phone. You set up the eSIM, so 
Yeah, I'm not, I don't think, does it have a SIM card slot? I don't know. Uh, let me check it out later, huh? Let's see. Yeah, it might, ha it might have a SIM card slot, but it does use the eSIM, so that's pretty cool. But like I said, man, uh, if you already have the 12 Pro Max, I'll just wait for the 15 or 16. Um, if you don't do much with your phone, you know, if you don't run a lot of apps, uh, I think just wait like every three or four years. Me, I do uh, YouTube, so I, I'm kind of like forced to upgrade every two years. If I wasn't doing YouTube or anything, uh, I'll be upgrading like every five years. <laughs> mm. All right, setup complete. All right, so wifey finally set up her uh, um, face, whatever, and then the 14 or whatever, the 13, uh, you can wear a mask and uh, do the face ID. I think that's like two years too late, man. <laughs> Nobody's wearing mask now. They should have it that. Uh, they should have that like two a uh, year ago, you know. Yeah, so now you could use the face ID with the mask, uh, which I don't think is relevant anymore. Nobody wears mask. All right, all right. So YP just finished uh, setting up the face uh, face ID. Now we're gonna put the screen protector and uh, case on it to protect the phone. Yeah, man. This phone, if you drop it, it's gonna crack the screen, fam. I don't care how durable it is. All right. Uh, I'm not sure which one is the case and which one is the protector. I bought these on Amazon. I only buy um, accessory on Amazon, fam. Don't buy at the Apple store or Verizon store. It's like 10 times more expensive. It's like $50 for a phone case. On Amazon, it's like anywhere from 10 to like 20. Yeah. So Amazon is the best place to buy accessories, but don't buy... Um, don't buy AirPods or iPhone on Amazon, fam. There's a lot of fakes on Amazon. There's fake iPhones, there's fake uh, AirPods. Um, yeah, only buy at Apple Store or like Verizon Store or um, Best Buy. Yeah. <laughs> Can't get this to open. Okay. So I'm gonna drop the link for the accessory in the video description as well, fam. So I think this is the case. It's probably the same size as the 12, I think. Uh, got the purple clear case, fam. And screen protector. Yeah, I always put screen protector in a case on my phone. Yeah. I don't buy insurance and, uh, you know. And uh, I, don't I don't think you need a camera cover. Yeah. I wouldn't put it on. I think the case and the screen protector should be good. Uh, all right, be back in a couple of minutes. Got the screen protector. iPhone 14 Pro Max case, man. Oh, using my ID. Oh. That's all right. Put the screen protector on and use a ID or credit card to uh, to get the bubbles out. Uh, all right, uh, hold on. Let me put my ID away. <laughs> that way, I don't get my ID uh, identity stolen. All right, using a fake credit card. How about that? <laughs> it's Jolly Holly. Mm. All right, I think I got all the bubbles out. Uh. Looks good, fam. Mm. All right, put on the screen protector. All right, screen protector is pretty simple. Oh man, it's kind of bulky. Shit, I think we might have bought the wrong one. <laughs> this one seems kind of bulky. All right, fam, finally uh, I finished uh, set setting up the phone, but uh, I think we're gonna buy a different uh, phone case. This one's too bulky. Yeah. So she, well, I think wifey wants something similar to mine. Uh, silicone clear or something, you know. I like silicone because um, when you put it into the car's uh, phone holder, it's uh, it doesn't slip. 
So, and I like lime green because it's easier to uh, find your phone when you drop it uh, on the ground or something, you know. But uh, in the link, I will drop the, a better phone case. Yeah, I don't recommend this one. It's too bulky. But the screen protector was good, fam. So there you have it. Uh, here's the 12 Pro Max. Here's the 14. Yeah. So once again, the 14 got the dynam <clears throat> dynamic island SOS feature, car crash detection. Uh, cinematic mode and uh, better um, stabilization uh, stronger camera that's about it you know mm. besides that everything's about the same so if you don't use your phone a lot I'll just uh, I'll just wait for the 15 Pro Max or whatever you know once again iPhone 14 Pro Max fam thank you for thank you everybody for watching please smash the like subscribe ring the bell see you guys on the next one peace fam all right fam there you have it uh i'm still happy with my 12 pro max you know uh, even though it slowed down a little bit uh the 13 mini mainly i just use it to do uh gig work you know ubeats doordash and stuff um and uh i would drop the link for the screen protector for the iphone and the uh, the better case fam this case that we bought uh, we bought the wrong one it's too bulky once again, thank you everybody for watching. I still have a DJI Mini unboxing and um, MacBook Pro. And uh, yeah, just those two un unboxing coming. Mm. Thank you fam. See you guys on the next one. Peace.